you know. All you had to do is ask, you know. For your your rudders and your wingspans and your flap controls. It's kind of hard for uh, computers to do that mathematics and your simulations and simulators. You know, it's like the astronauts said back in the day, you know. They told you your simulators were wrong. And they are, you know. For a basic flight setup, or a basic F-16, or you know, Northrop and Grumman, you know, they, they're right, you know, the, the simulators are right. But just like some of the math was off in the Texas Instrument Calculators. I'll give you a hand, you know, I'll give you a heads up for your heads up display. With the U.S. Navy. So, a lot of stuff is the, the nose, you see. You know, the nose, you see. The nose is a little heavy, you know. So, when the nose is a little heavy, they put a lot of stuff on the back end to try to balance it out. So the nose is a little heavy, so what you gotta do is, you know, look at this profile, okay? And you gotta just, we bow our heads, and we pray together, and when we bow our heads and we pray together, we come up with better solutions, so that we can look up to God and say, oh, thank God, you know? And we say, the nose is a little heavy, so when you're doing these maneuvers, you know, you know, somebody put a wrench in the plan for torque, you know? So when you're flying around, you got the pilot in the front of the plane, so keep his eye on what's going on. But when they turn, you're slinging them around like on a Gravitron, you know? So we made these amusements of America with my grandparents, you know? We had the little Gravitron flying saucer. to let you know, when you're way out there on the edge, on the edge of tomorrow, you know, like Tom Cruise, you know, I said, we're going to the Top Gun flight school. And the reason why is, well, if you're going to put out these new airplanes, these new jets and new helicopters so everybody can have fun and rebuild the world together with a Mars mission, then we're going to have to fix our flight schools. So, we say a Top Gun flight school on the edge of tomorrow, we're going to get it right this time, okay? So you change the controls in the back and the wings and stuff, that way when you... In a dive, you gotta pull up, and you're like, we're inverted, man. We got something a little backwards, so we got foreign relations and side language. So we're gonna flip it back over on the flip side, fix some of the controls. And instead of slinging the pilot everywhere, you know, to kind of slap his brains around in the cockpit till they get it right, you know? You know, you just pull it, move the weight, and turn around you with the air on the back end, so you can bring the back end down, and a centrifugal force it's surrounded around the cockpit instead of the back of the plane where the engines are, you know? So it come and drop the back end to bring the pilot back up. And then you don't have to worry so much about the G-forces in the cockpit seat. Now you might remember last summer I said we were gonna talk about this. And I said, you know, where is the oxygen on that flight seat, you know? Because they needed more oxygen in their brains with the designs, you know? You know, rocket scientists, you know, with those rocket engines, you know, they put on the airplane. Sometimes they over-engineer stuff. So you need a nuclear physicist or a nuclear scientist. Which is why my father went out to the Space Center to see what they were doing. Because he's like, I'm a nuclear missile technician, man. Come on, let me look and see. They want him to look and see. They laid him off. So he didn't have no job. And then they destroyed my computer company. So I says, well, that's cool time for Top Gun Flight School, United Space Navy style, you know, for the United Space Alliance and the USA, the United Nations, the International Space Station, you know, all the stuff we've been working on for a long time. So they go, man, where did you find this kid? And we'll say, my stepmother might have been an alien. My mom, she might have come from the heavens too. My dad was just a really smart guy with a bunch of really, really smart genius friends. One day they got together and they said, let's do something cool for our kids, you know? And I says, well, 
a Top Gun flight school might be pretty cool, huh? Plus, we get some new designs and stuff. But, you know, after I fly a plane, I've got to see some other stuff and do a little more. You know? Hey, you know, you got to talk to the Navy, the Air Force, the Army Corps of Engineers, the uh, Coast Guard, uh, and don't forget, Space Marines. And then the next people you got to talk to is the big corporations. And, you know, I like Boeing. I like Grumman. You know, I like all those aerospace industries and stuff. But to get them all talking the way they should, that's why they made United Space Alliance and a space agency with NASA. You know, National Aeronautics, you know, situational associations let you know what the situation is. So, they needed a uh, ambassador. So I said, you know, you know, it's a hard job, but somebody's got to do it, you know, supervising and stuff, you know. So, I'll give you a little parental supervision. Hey, it's another PS for you. It says psychological solutions in education, you know. Kind of works like nuclear physics. You know, like, NF. You say, you know, music's like nuclear physics too, you know. And like, what do you mean? And when a rap star, he changed his name to NF. And he's like, hey. He's like, uh, you know, nuclear fix. It's like, man. Yeah, you know. Because, you know, a lot of these rap kids can't spell. So they're like, nuclear physics is spelled with an F. So we said, okay, NF. A nuclear fix. You know, a new clear fix for education. So, more about that later, you know. A little bit at a time. You know, take it what you need. Okay, but take a what you need. There's plenty to go around. You know, I thought Trump was kidding, man. He said, no, man, this is the true revival, union, you know, media perfection. Trump nation.